With so many people home and cleaning more than ever, poison control centers, can you believe this? A calls to them have certainly spiked. As you know, some of the chemicals can be dangerous. Dr. Diane Colello is the executive director, medical director of the New Jersey Poison Control Center at Rutgers New Jersey Medical School. So good morning to you and thank you so much for joining us. I, for one, have been doing nothing but cleaning. I've been posting about it as well. So according to the CDC, there has been a rise in accidental poisoning due to the improper use of cleaning products. What are you seeing right now in terms of that? Yes, it, since the onset of the coronavirus pandemic here in the U.S., poison control centers have seen a definite increase in disinfectant, hand sanitizer, bleach exposures, anything people are using to try to keep themselves and their environment clean. So, for example, right, you want to clean your you want to disinfect your tables, you want to disinfect your car doors, uh, even your bathroom as well. But you can't get your hand on certain products. Right. So people are starting to blend things right now. They're using more bleach than they would in a confined space. So how do you avoid that? What's your best advice right now to kind of disinfect those areas? Well, first and foremost, you should never mix bleach with another cleanser. A lot of these exposures that we reported are people who are mixing bleach with another cleaner like ammonia or vinegar. That generates a toxic chemical that if you breathe in can really damage your lungs. Um, so that's very important. Sometimes people call because they try to disinfect so I, their food or their produce. Um, and that's another no-no. I was just going to ask, you know, what kind of calls are you actually seeing and hearing about right now? So give me another example besides the, the food. Um, People, for example, using a disinfectant, a strong disinfectant wipe on their skin or their face. It's not intended for that. Those are uh, powerful disinfectants, like you show, you know, here on the screen, which are used for countertops, non-porous surfaces. Um, yeah. So people sometimes call because uh, they accidentally wash their apples with that. Oh, my goodness. Okay, so these products, they have, obviously, they have ingredients listed on them, right, that we try to look out for to keep ourselves safe, right? So you see that Clorox wipes, they disinfect coronavirus, so you take it off the shelf and buy it. What kind of names of ingredients, though, should people look out for to learn how to use these items properly? What's your advice there? Well, I mean, the major the commercially available disinfectants are EPA-approved disinfectants. That's brand name things like Lysol, Clorox, non-alcohol disinfectants. Um, those are all fine for household use. They're fine to clean non-porous surfaces. They just shouldn't be used on the skin. And they shouldn't be used on things like produce, which should just be rinsed in water, and then you should wash your hands. A lot of people do th think they need to uh, soak their apples in bleach or something like that, and that is a bad idea. Those are chemicals that are not meant to be ingested. Okay, this may sound like um, a silly question to ask, right? But what are some of the signs and symptoms if you feel like you've come in contact with some of these solutions that you may not have felt you should have? If you spend too much time in a bathroom with the door closed while you're cleaning, what should you be looking out for? So if you are mixing chemicals in a closed space that's not well ventilated, that causes a respiratory illness. Um, and so the, it begins with burning of the eyes and the throat, but then progresses to coughing and trouble breathing, wheezing for asthmatics. So if you're experiencing any of those symptoms, call your poison control center and we can help you determine how serious the exposure is. But more importantly, try to prevent it by not mixing those chemicals. If yeah, you exactly have it. swallowed them, right? You know, they, they went on their your food or your hands and you've swallowed them, that can also cause burning in the throat, but can cause nausea or vomiting or diarrhea, stomach upset, basically. Got it. All right. It's important to keep everybody safe. You know, a lot of people are bored, so they turn to cleaning. Hopefully they're doing it safely. But we thank you for your advice this morning and your tips and stay safe to you. Okay, doctor? Thank you. You too as well.